If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement and male advantage ebook, all links are in the bio. And this is when it comes full circle, okay? As I got caught up when I was young, when I was on Instagram, of doing the quotes and, uh, you know, if you don't, if you're sleeping, you're losing it, like all this shit, right? And then I started going to the gym. Now, if you're not sleeping whilst you're training and going to the gym, you don't make any gains. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about sleep and success. Now I've been guilty of this, okay? I've been guilty of this in the past. I'm always authentic. I'm not gonna come on here, talk shit and whatever. I'll, I'll always tell you the truth. When I used to have my Instagram account back in the day and I used to promote, you know, you gotta grind and sleep two hours a night, that's the way to do it. I've got, I've got a kind of take on this, okay? So you get all these success gurus and that's what they say. And I say success gurus, you know, with some apostrophes around it because I think it's asterisks. I can't remember, but guys, I'm not great at English. Um, but they kind of promote this like hustle and grind life, never sleep, no days off, whatever. But I know these fuckers are taking days off and sleeping a lot. All right. So I don't really, you know, promote that anymore because like, number one, I don't think it's sustainable. I got adrenal fatigue, I got depression multiple times, I've crashed multiple times from working too hard and not sleeping. You look like shit, it's not very good, okay? Now, I've drawn kind of two conclusions of like, I, I think that kind of work and hustle grinds life is fantastic for the previous generation. Now, I love Gary Vee, I think he's a fantastic guy, but he looks like shit. Now, me and my friends used to talk about this six, seven years ago. Gary V looked about 100 years old. He was always tired. He looked like shit. His skin was awful. His eyes were like that. He just looked, he, he always looks tired. And that entire generation of guys that are like, probably the exception of like Grant Cardone, that guy looks all right. But all the other guys from that generation, they just look like assholes. Like they look terrible. They just, they're out of shape. Their skin's bad. What, and it's like, yeah, you're rich, you've got money and you've hustled and you barely slept and you've worked for it. But you know, you could have a heart attack next year the way you're looking. This new generation of men, and this is what I promote at First Man, is a balance. Like I've always said, I would, I would always rather be, you know, two scenarios. Multi-billionaire, 60 years old, never really had a life. Rich as fuck, okay, you can have anything you want at that point. But unhealthy, dies of a heart attack at 70. A guy who's worth 20 million nowhere near a billion, like not even close to a billion, has had a life, done enjoyable things, is only 35 years old, in amazing shape, attracting beautiful women and traveling the world. And doesn't really ever take it higher than that, just kind of fluctuates 20, 30, 20, 30, just spends a little, earns a little, never really goes higher, never gets the yacht or the private plane, but has a brilliant life. I'm picking that one. I'm picking that one all day, every day. I don't want to be the unhealthy guy. And this is what men are doing in this era now. We're kind of like blending the two. And this is when it comes full circle, okay? As I got caught up when I was young, when I was on Instagram, of doing the quotes and, uh, you know, if you don't, if you're sleeping, you're losing it, like all this shit, right? And then I started going to the gym. Now, if you're not sleeping whilst you're training and going to the gym, you don't make any gains. You just look like shit. You end up getting skinny fat. You can't build any muscle. You don't burn any fat. It's just not a good look, okay? And I'm not a vain person, but I'm very proud and I like to look my best at all times. And I've always wanted to combine the money with the fitness. I wanna be 95 kg and 10% body fat with 20, 30 million in the bank, you know? And it'll go on because I'm, I'm doing a streaming platform. It's hard not to, but if that stays as like a little micro community of, 100,000 guys and I'm making something like 300K every single month or whatever, and my net worth ends up stalling at like 20, 30, 50 mil, whatever, and I never make it to the top end I thought I'd get to, but my life is fucking amazing, I'm in shape, I'm sleeping eight hours a night, well then in fact, I've won. I win the whole game. Because what, you know, what's the point in becoming a billionaire and having a heart attack at 54? Because all you're doing is stressing and, oh, quickly, just order pizza and a hamburger, we got work to do. That doesn't really cut it for me. You know, so 
I've changed my opinion on this over the last, let's say, 10 years as such, when I really began this, maybe eight years ago. But I would promote now to all of you guys to sleep eight hours a night. I, re I really would. I, I, number one, I feel at my best. I'm sharp as hell. My work's better. I come on this, I, I come on this kind of channel, on this mic, and the words that I'm saying are just fantastic. Just, that sounds a bit arrogant, doesn't, doesn't it? But compared to what I used to say, they're flowing better and my mind is sharper. I'm just, I'm at my best, okay? I go to the gym in the morning. I do PBs every fucking once a week. I feel strong. I feel like I look good. Like things really come together. I come up with better ideas. And for me, that's just kind of, that's just a better life. I just, I, I just think how much better is that? than being a 50 year old guy with heart pains and back pains and whatever, and he's never really slept. And he's like, no, I just grind, I just keep grinding, I keep going, you're like, buddy, you gotta enjoy it at some point. And that's why I think those rest periods are great because they keep you going. So my kind of conclusion on it is, look, I think if you don't go to the gym, which I don't recommend, if you do no form of fitness, yeah, sleep five, six, seven hours a night, it doesn't really matter. I think you could probably get away with it and just have a few grinding years trying to get up there. If you want to be kind of an outlier male, you want to tap into the male advantage and really have the best possible life, sleep eight hours a night, go to the gym, have a healthy balance. You know, you see people like Dan Pena, there's no such thing as work-life balance. Dan doesn't look too good, does he? Do you know what I mean? Like, he's going to die of a heart attack very soon. He always talks about, I've got a 54-inch chest, my dad was a beast. Like, I'm sorry, Dan, but I'm putting you to sleep in 10 seconds with one hand. Like, you're a pussy, Okay. I don't get, if you were in your prime, I'd snap you like a twig. Like it, that, you're not in great shape. Like relax, okay, kids. Like it, the, some of these guys are full of shit. Like he's got a big bellowing voice and whatever he comes on. Fuck you, you can't. He's a pussy cat in a real man's world. Okay, he's made a lot of money, but he's a baby. He's, he's just a little kid walking around. Like you look at him, he's just a frail old man. Even in his pride, like I, I just don't see him as someone I would aspire to want to be, okay? Fierce guy, I'm sure, you know, he'd punch me in the face for saying that. But if I did the same to him, he'd probably be in a coma, right? And that's the difference. Like, I'm sleeping well. I'm focused on my business. I'm, I'm in the gym. I'm taking care of my health. I'm taking care of my appearance, whatnot. Because at the end of the day, what, what do you want to be? Do you want to be the 60-year-old Russian billionaire who has, who has to pay for sex and has a heart attack five years later? and just looks greasy and horrible. You know, it's nothing against Russian guys. I'm just saying that's the stereotype that you see, right? Or do you want to be like the 35 year old guy who's in shape, who's healthy, who's hygienic, who lives a great life, who is attracting women naturally, who has great experiences, who is going to like Bali on holiday, whatever, you know, just like going surfing, able to actually do it rather than just falling over or paddle boarding, like you're fit, you're able to stand up on the board and surf properly, go and have these experiences, like have sex properly instead of just lying there and just being out of breath. Like I, I definitely think the balance is the way to do it. So when people say, how do I balance success and sleep? Just sleep eight hours. Don't be too worried about it, guys. Just sleep eight hours because the combination of this is this is what one reason why I started first man is I always wanted to be like the perfect man and one thing that I always wanted to achieve and this is how I came to the conclusion of the male advantage is I wonder what it's like to be rich young and good looking all at once and healthy like just kind of have it all at once and just be like okay if I've ticked every single box and they're all up I wonder what that's fucking like and that's when I realized oh it's a period of your life like the male advantage it's like this peak zone where if everything goes well, you're undeniably at the top. Like your social hierarchy value is just 10, 10, 10, 10 across the board. It's impossible for anybody to compete with you and you can pretty much have whatever you want. I, I realized that when I was young, I was like, oh, I figured this thing out called the male advantage. And I think you, you can take wealth to a 10 if you just don't sleep and that's all you do and you sacrifice your life. But like I said, it's a sad existence. But if you balance it with eight hours of sleep, nice hour in the gym every morning, you know, take some time to eat some decent food, whatever, relax, de-stress, have a bit more of a life surrounded based on what you're doing. You can still do like 10 hours on your business, 10 hours at your nine to five job and still, you know, you can still build it all up. You can't have many more things added to your life, whatever. That's why I always say sacrifice women when you're young. You know, you can, you can have too many things going on, but I definitely think just health, fitness, sleep, success. 
however you do it, right? You've got to have those kind of four pillars in place as a man when you're young. But missing out on sleep is going to mess you up because then you're going to look like shit. Like I said, love Gary V to pieces. His content is fantastic. He's helped millions of people. I wouldn't want to look like him. I think his body's terrible. I think he looks tired. I think he probably looks 10 years older than he should. You know, and you're just like, it's not a good look. He's a lovely guy. Like, he ticks every other box. But I don't think any guy would want to look like him. And and for men, I think it's quite important, you know, to have that masculine frame and bring everything together. And that's, what, like I said, why I started First Man. Like, one of the big reasons is I wanted to have the fitness, the success, the assets, the cool life, the great life setup, the women, just the intelligence, you know, the experiences of life, like the business in place and everything like that, options and freedom, just combine it all and go, wow, this is great. I've reached like a hot spot in my life where everything's just on fire. This is amazing. I feel so fucking powerful. And I always wanted to get there. Without the fitness, you're not really going to tap into that. It's going to be one of the, like I said, one of those 50-year-old billionaires paying for sex. It's just like, it's kind of creepy money, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I just not, it doesn't really excite me too much. But anyway, that's why I think you should sleep more. That's why I think you should get eight hours. It's mainly because of the gym. Once you add gym and fitness and whatever, you, it's, it's just too hard. It's just too hard. You, you can't sleep four or five hours a night and then go to the gym and be successful. And whatever. Like, oh, The Rock does it. Yeah, yeah, mate, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I've got a feeling he's either sleeping eight hours a night or he's taking so many steroids or like a personal concoction of steroids that he's paid to have created that matches his body, that he just feels great all the time. You know, they say as a small percentage of people that can do it, you're still going to make better gym gains if you're sleeping more. You're still going to look better. You're still like, it just benefits your body so much. And like I said, this new age of entrepreneurs, we don't just want to be successful with a nice car. Like we want to be in shape, living life, traveling the world. Like there's more options available to us now. Just a big manor house in the countryside doesn't do it for us. Like multiple homes around the world, dating multiple women, traveling around the world, looking good for our social profiles. Like it's a package deal now. It's the Darwinian male. What used to be praised is now expected. We've upgraded like what we want to be as a, in a holistic sense. So instead of being like a billionaire, we might scale that down to being worth like 50 million. But then every other area of your life has been boosted up. And that's the kind of trade-off, sleep and success. That's where I... I, I draw the line at poor health. And as soon as my health, mentally, physically, stress, whatever it might be, or my gym gains, or I'm not looking my best, starts to get like impacted negatively, I say, that's it. for the like, My day's over. That's it. I'm going to bed. You know, I'm stopping. Or I'm going to go and relax. Or I'm going to take a day off. I never used to be like this. But since I've been doing it, I've been getting better results from my business. Steve used to tell me this. He said, uh, the personal trainer guy that's been on the podcast and we've done a few fitness videos together. He said he used to take like one week off, go on holiday, come back, restart his personal training. And he was like, I'd make more money from clients. I'd have more energy. I'd get more success out of it. I'd look better myself. It would lead to better things. He was like, because I was refreshed. I was energized. I was passionate. Something happened with my dad recently, okay? Let me check the time. So, oh, it's okay. I've got loads of time. Um, when my dad died, I was like, I don't really want to take a week or two off first man, off the business or whatever. Um, I don't really want to see a loss of momentum. I was like, but I feel like shit. I just want a break. And the reason I took the two weeks off and kind of relaxed a little bit, and I think I re spontaneously released a video when I felt like it, but I really, I, I just played a lot of video games, if I'm honest, guys, because it was raining a lot. I just did stuff that I wouldn't normally do. I was like, just take my mind off it. Now, the reason I did that, I came to the conclusion, I would rather do nothing for like, let's say even... Let's make it this extreme so you really get the example. I'd rather do nothing for six months and then in 10 years time, I'm really hitting my stride because I pick things back up again. Like a, in like six, like, right, okay, so I did nothing in six months. Then I hit the ground running six months, you know, in that six month period at the end of it. And then 10 years later, I'm still going, I'm energetic, I'm, I'm flying in life, I feel positive, I've dealt with my demons and I feel good and I'm still going long game. 
than really force it now and be like, no, I have to keep working. I've got to put my dad behind me, back of my mind. Then become really depressed. Then it affects you negatively. It changes your mindset. And you end up in a fucking insane asylum or you're massively depressed. And 10 years later, you've committed suicide. Do you know what I mean? Or you're not even working on your business anymore because you've just had a mental breakdown. And I just thought it's better to have that kind of short-term release so that long-term I'm still back at it and I'm back at my best. That's how I live now. That's how I live. And that is why I sleep eight hours. Because by sleeping eight hours, it means that in three years' time, if this business ends up throwing 19 curveballs at me during that same frame of time, and I'm in shape, I'm healthy, I look good, and I've still got a good life outside of my business, you know, I'm going to keep trucking on. I'm going to still keep going. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to feel good. I'm going to be optimistic still. Whereas if it's just nothing but work, 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 never sleeping, never recovering, getting depressed, testosterone is dropping because that's what's going to happen, guys, which isn't healthy at all. Women don't find you attractive and you're like, oh, I've put all my cards on getting rich and then I can have anything I want. It might not go too well. You might just become exhausted and have a mental breakdown. And that's when you see those guys that are like 40 years old and everyone's like, oh, he was gonna gonna be massively successful and just had a massive breakdown. And it's like, yeah, there was no balance. So for all these people like Dan Pena, hustle grinds life, you know, there is no such thing as work-life balance. There is and there has to be because without it, there's no long game. You're gonna quit, you're gonna quit. Like, I love this business with all, all my fucking heart. Like, I, this is what I want to do. As far as I'm concerned right now, removal of the progression bias. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I really enjoy it. Or at least till I'm like 40 years old and I can decide, you know, what I want to do. But that's why the stream platform's in place because I can direct movies, which is a job for life. It's really cool to be a part of, okay? It never ends. There's always new ideas, meeting new people around the world. That's cool as fuck. I love that. That's kind of why I've done it. Um... But I will, you know, but I still get days where I sit there and I go, God, I'm exhausted. I just can't be fucking bothered right now. Like I've done everything I was supposed to do. I'm just fed up with looking at a screen. I want to go and watch a movie or I want to go and meet a woman. Like it gets to that point after like 30 days of doing that. Or I'm going to go to the gym with a friend and then afterwards... I haven't done this for a long, long time, but we'll go for a beer and a pizza. I just need a break. Do you know what I mean? Like my diet at the moment is so fucking strict. Today I had to up my carbs by like 50 grams because I was like, I just need a refeed because I'm getting defueled. And I was, I actually ate healthy food, but I was very tempted to order a pizza and they got these Biscoff brownies. Guys, I'm going to have to order one soon. They look delicious. They're like white chocolate Biscoff brownies. I might have to order 10. I don't know. We'll see. When we're bulking again, first thing on the list, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. And um, I just had an idea. We'll, we'll move on, but I just had a great idea, okay, for the streaming platform. It's cheat meals chases. We'll make, maybe make that one the first one. Um, but by doing something like that, it gives your brain a little kick again. It gives you a little release, you know, and it, make, it allows you to kick on again and push forward in life. And it's just, that's what it is, just these checkpoints. You need to enjoy, you need to enjoy. Because these people on Instagram, whatever, YouTubers, you got to hustle and grind, man. If you're stopping, then you're not working. It's like, he's not doing that. I can guarantee you he's not doing that. I guarantee he goes out for a beer with the boys, watches the game on a Sunday. Like, these people are full of shit, so I'd rather come on here and tell you the truth, show you what I'm doing, and show you that I'm actually getting way better results from taking breaks and sleeping eight hours a night and I feel fucking great actually looking my best and getting in shape for the first time in my life. And it's been benefiting all the other areas of my life. You know, if I'm in fantastic shape, I sell out of the male fitness st supplements that I make, the male lifestyle supplements, and other supplements that I bring around that. If I'm in fantastic shape, I get more followers on YouTube because people are like, I want to look like that guy. He seems to have his whole life together. It just, it benefits you in all areas. If you're in shape, women come to you naturally. If you look healthy, women come to you naturally. It means you don't have to then waste time searching for them on Tinder for 10 hours a day, swiping, oh, I just need a woman, and it's stressing you out. You know, you look good, they're coming to you. It's better to have that balance. It actually, it's weird. You kind of work less, but your life is better. Do you, do you see what I mean, guys? Like, you don't have to do certain things. You've got more energy. You just, when you are working, it's more effective. Everything that you do is a better decision. You make less mistakes. I make 10 times less mistakes now. 
I used to make so many mistakes when I slept three hours a night. I used to say, oh, I've got used to it. I probably aged like 10 years during that time frame. I'm now like de-aging slowly. It's almost like I was like, I looked like 40 years old when I was like 23 years old. I'm like reversing that day by day now and I'm feeling better every single day. There's no comparison, guys. So when it comes to sleep and success, yeah, there's a balance. Sleep eight hours a night. Enjoy it. If, you, if, you, if, if you've slept eight hours, you've gone to the gym, you do six hours of work and you feel tired. I used to think this was weak, but if you're knackered, go and take a one hour nap. If that allows you to then wake up and work again, there's a reason that Google and companies like this have uh, nap pods at their company. They know that sleep is like the key to being at your best. Roger Federer sleeps like 12 hours a day like, and then has a nap on top of that. Same with Usain Bolt. You've got to do it, guys. It's, but the gym is the main component there. If you throw the gym into your life, exercise, you know, and you're burning excess energy, you kind of need to sleep. Otherwise, it's almost impossible. You will become exhausted. If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement and male advantage ebook, all links are in the bio.